Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm excited to take you through Quadril 2. This library is a powerful sampled synthesis engine ideal for film game composers who need to work quickly and be able to maintain that creative spark when you need it. This follow-up to the first Quadril release expands on this series with a new set of 16 brand new categories of handcrafted atmospheric pads. Each sound has been carefully hand sculpted into spectacular new presets with categories like blurry, icy, zen, nature, lo-fi, and many others. We've also included 250 patches of arps, basses, leads, effects, pads, and plucks, so there's endless amounts of inspiration packed within Quadril 2. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features as well as demonstrate for you some of the sounds. So let's go ahead and start diving into Quadril 2. So as I mentioned earlier, this library comes packed with 250 factory presets designed to get you going on your composing journey. So I figured let's go ahead and start there. So if you want to access these, you just click right here and you'll see that you have folders for arps, basses, effects, leads, pads, and plucks. So let's go ahead and check a few of these out. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pads first, just to give you an idea of how these sound. And then if you want to go back to the main menu, just click this right here and then it'll take you right back so you can see all the things that are going on with this UI as we play these presets. So one of the main things you're going to notice is the XY pad in the center and what this is doing is it's moving around in between these four different layers that have all these different sound sources loaded up. So if we go ahead and go down here you can see how this XY pad is working. So you can change this, limit the range, change the speed. So like Quadril 1, Quadril 2 utilizes our Ouroboros synthesis engine, and this is great because especially when you do stuff with sound design and different ambiences, you have these four different layers that all have these different categories and banks of sounds, and you can use the XY pad to be able to go and move around through them, so you always can get some just completely different evolving textures. And if you want to access the functionality of the XY pad, you just click right down here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so you can hear how each layer sounds. So this is layer one. We got layer two. Layer three. And then we got layer four. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage these. I'm gonna start these from zero and show you a little bit of how you can maneuver these to make them evolve and go in between these different layers. So with the range knob, it controls how much the X and the Y are moving. So right now we just have the X engaged and I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the range. Now let's go ahead and do the same for the Y motion. Control the speed. Let's go ahead and change the sounds. Let's try blurry. And then let's go ahead and change this one to icy. Let's 
change this one to lo-fi. So you can hear just playing one note, you can hear a lot of evolution and movement in the sound. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off and just play for you some of the different sounds and categories that come with the library. So this is the acoustic category. Let's go ahead and cycle through some of these. Then we have a category for glitch. So with Quadrille 2, you have tons of sound design possibilities and being able to change and modify each layer. So for each layer, you can see you have volume, attack, pitch, offset, pan, you can just pan them different places. So if you want to have one layer pan to the left, and then let's go over here, we'll pan this to the right.
if you want to pitch this down a little bit more. Or maybe pitch this layer up. Let's go ahead and engage the XY. So you can see it's super easy to create movement within your track, especially if you're doing any kind of scoring and you want to get that cinematic underscore kind of sound. This stuff is perfect for that. And then you also have an arpeggiator to use as well. So if we go over here to this arpeggiator, if you just click this to turn it on and off, and then you can use the graph so you can create your own sequences. And then if you want to take some of these sounds and turn them into your own synth leads, you can go over here to this glide knob. And this is great for just introducing a little bit of an artificial portamento. So one of my favorite features within this library is the random button and this is great for when you're just wanting to just kind of explore some new sounds and just randomly see what comes up. So if maybe you know any of the effects presets aren't working for you, you can always just randomize your way to your next score. So let's go ahead and check out some of these. <laughs> slow this down a little bit let's just go ahead and bring the speed back Let's go ahead and check out the mod panel and this is a really cool place for doing all kinds of crazy stuff so you can have the different layers right here selected and then you can choose different types of ways to affect them so if we want to change the pitch or the pan we can do that let's just go ahead and select the source we can do lfo 
And then on the front panel, there's also a way to edit this as well. If you go to this little quick edit right here, you see there's mod and filter. So if we click that, we can add a quick filter right here. You have a list of different filter types. You can learn these to your MIDI CC or faders or knobs. And then you also have the effects rack as well. So if we go in here, you have another place where you can add all kinds of effects and really take it to a whole nother level. So there's reverbs in here as well. as well as some other types of effects. Let's go ahead and just uh, see what we got here. We got some delay, distortion, EQ, filter, lo-fi, rotator. This is a really cool one. You can also add some other effects in here as well. So if we go ahead and check out some phaser. Let's go ahead and select a different sound. Let's try sequence. All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Quadro 2. If you'd like to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, go to soundiron.com or click the link in the description below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.